Hello and welcome to this 8th Advanced Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to add enemies to the RPG game. If you've missed any of the previous advanced tutorials I advise you to check them out so you can get the code and work on this game. First thing I've noticed is if you hold two arrows down when you're playing such as down and right you'll notice the character moves down and then when he gets to the bottom he starts moving to the right and it's it's kind of cool when you hold two buttons. Um, I, it's not supposed to do this, but it it looks kind of cool and it'd be good for safe. You got a game where you're trying to dodge the enemies. Um, and second point I'm going to make is about improving your maps, so that you won't have to program this anymore. All you need to do is add more tiles in, and you can make the map m look uh, much more pleasing. So say I want to make the lake's edges curved. All we do is add more tiles. So I had three, and I've added a fourth one, which, as you can see, is just the water, but with a curved top left edge for the grass. And here I've got tile five, same for the top right, and I've got tile six, bottom right, and tile seven. And all you do is, as I've explained before, you just load in all these extra tiles, so four, five, six, and seven and you just change the names like this and so all I've done is just change the numbers so it loads the appropriate file and then what you go and do is where you're drawing all the different tiles you just select this else if as we've done before copy and paste it and add in these extra tiles so here I'd change this to a, a th the if it's third then we'll load tile four and then I'll just do this for all the others. So here I've uh, drawn all the different tiles and you'll notice that they don't the numbers don't match. You have if it's six then you draw tile seven, that's because um the first in the array is zero. So zero you load tile one. So now if I go to the lake on the map design, if I change the corners to this one to three, this one to four, and then this one to five, it just depends which tiles you've got. If I save it and run it now, you'll see that my lake is smooth and you can go ahead and change this to all the different lakes or if you want to make your path smooth you can use the same technique. So I've just modified my map a bit to make the lake smoother and another point before we get to actually creating enemies is it's better if we organize the variables in a better way and I'll do this by using uh, commenting on the code. So here we've got the map and so I will comment on this and s call it map. So I'll just say map there. This is just to make it easier to read. Uh, all you need is one of these semicolons such as here and then you can write whatever you want and it'll go green and that means the computer will just ignore that so it's just for your own use and so now I'll separate the character so I'll put this as character and then I will separate and create an extra one for the enemy for when we add them and also this read info variable I just control X that which is cut and I'll put that with the map variables and another point for your commenting it's useful if for your map maker you just make some semicolon uh, keys to explain what the different tiles are so I'd say uh, zero is grass and one is concrete and two is my water square so I've just added a key for all the different tiles I've got okay so now we'll go on to creating the enemy so if you open up paint and then we'll create a new file and make sure this is the same size as all of your other tiles because that would be useful so that the enemy is at the center of whatever tile you start it at. So mine's 50 by 50. 
and now save this as whatever you want um, but it's best off if you call it spider one because that's what I'll be using and I'll just label my enemies spider one spider two spider three and if you haven't guessed my enemies are going to be spiders <laughs> and remember to fill the background in black because that is the transparent color and save it and now draw your image and save it as spider one okay so this is my first spider and I think it will be best if we make three so we have spider one spider two and spider three spider two um, I'll make it as the, a more powerful one and then spider three will be the boss you can create them as many as you want in whatever different types you want um, and hopefully if you understand it you'll learn how to make them all different in the program okay so just create three images this is my second spider and this is my third and boss spider so now we can go into the program and set up the enemy in the enemy section so what we'll do is we will load the different images so global enemy one equals load image and that'll be spider one dot bmp and in fact I'll just call it spider one to keep it easier spider one okay and just do this for all your different images I'm using three if you're using three then it's easier if you follow me and just keep the same name so you can just copy the code exactly as mine is and now to store all the different enemies that we're going to use um, what we're going to use is a new concept in programming called a type it's similar to an array because it can store lots of different values but it's much easier to add and delete these and they're all their own entities and you can control them all and what we're going to do is we're going to add it so you can just change a number on the map and that's where the enemy will spawn from okay so let's create our type first so in the variable section you do type and then we'll call it spider and then we'll go ahead and do the end type so we don't forget it to do that and to set all the different um, variables for each spider we use something called a field so type field and what we're going to use is first of all tile x and tile y and those are going to store um, which tile it's stored in so if it's this one it'll be four and one so four across and the top one and this will be useful for when we are moving the spiders around so it can keep track of where it is um, we'll also have one for the spider's x position and we'll do a hash for that as well as the frame so it, we can move them slower if we want the y position and so that this is where it's going to draw it but we're also going to have the offset x offset and the y offset and this is because um, where we draw them will depend on the actual offset of the map itself so on top of the offset of the map we'll add the offset of the spiders themselves it's all um, a bit more complicated just because we've got a map that can move around so we're using two different offsets and then the more simple um, different variable we're going to add for the spider is the health for the specific spider and the species which is okay and now we're going to be able to add it onto the map so for me it will be if you draw a seven on the map we will get spider one so let's add this to our key seven and we'll do spider one okay and I, I might as well just add it onto the map there before we go okay so if the array position is um, seven then what we are going to do is we're going to draw the spider but in this section all we're going to do is we're going to just create the spider we'll create a new function for moving and drawing the spiders themselves so it's easy to keep track of them but we also at this new tile want to draw a background so you need to pick which background you want for the spider spawn points you could create your a very own one so like a little portal but I'll just have the background as grass so if we create a new um, option for the tile and we'll say seven if it's seven then I'll just draw tile one but what we're going to do 
is we're going to add a new spider to the group or the type of s which is called spider so to do that what we're first going to do is check if read info equals one and this is because we don't want to be creating spiders every time the program loops similar to how we're only going to read the array once we're going to only um, create new spiders once so once they're on the map we're not going to create anymore so we're going to check if read info equals one and we've already set that up to equal zero as soon as it's been created then and now we'll create the new spiders so all we do is you say enemy and this is just this is a new um, group for the spider so enemy and then you put dot spider equals new spider so now we'll be adding a new spider to the type spider so this is a new concept so it might be confusing at first but this is just how you write it you do enemy dot spider equals new spider and I've just called it enemy and now you refer to them all as enemy and then you put a backslash and now you can put the different fields within the type so I'm gonna say that tile x equals um, the x from within this for loop which defines how far along the map the tile is and um, then similarly we'll do tile y equals the y from this for loop because we need to store this for later and then we'll have the enemy x position will just be the same place where it would be drawn as a tile so it'll start off as just copy and paste this uh, little um, sum there and then we'll do the same I'll just copy and paste this and change it to the y position will be equal to the y position where it'd be drawn normally and then we'll start off with the x offset to be zero and the y offset to be zero the offset is what will change to be able to move the character around and now we'll set I think this will have a health of one and it will have and it and it will be species one species one is just so that when we have the function for the spiders it'll know which type to draw okay so now we've created the spider for this one let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other two spiders so I can just copy and paste this whole thing and change it to if it's eight then we'll still draw grass behind it but it will be the second species and because it will be slightly stronger I'll give it a health of two but all the positions of where it is on the map can stay as they are and finally I'll do it for if it is nine then it will be species three and I'll give it a health of five because it's the boss and now to my key I'll add eight is spider two and nine is spider three and in brackets I'll put it as the boss and I'll choose where they go on the map so I'll put the boss in the middle there as nine and I'll add some no ones just scatter them around I have some surrounding this boss and then I'll add some of the more difficult ones eight the enemy two around okay so that concludes this tutorial so what we've done is we've created the different spiders and we've given them a location on the map so in the next tutorial I'll create a function for them and then we'll actually draw them so you can see them and we'll give them uh, a bit of physics so they move and jitter around so thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one which will be on the screen somewhere remember to like subscribe and comment bye